Hi beautiful star beings of light. In this video, I wanted to talk about some of my top five favorite crystals to work with, especially when it comes to working with the star seed energy. And everyone is different. This is just my suggestion. It might inspire you. So the first uh, crystal that I really like to work with when I'm tuning into the star seed energy is the Lemurian crystal quartz. And the Lemurian crystal quartz not only connect us to Lemuria and connect us to the ancient wisdom of Earth and Lemuria, but it also connect us to the Pleiades and Venus as well. In my previous video, I've talked about the triad of energy that connects these civilizations together. There's a very strong resonance between them. And thus, I find that when I'm meditating with my Lemurian crystal cords, it helps me tune into my Akash to remember my Lemurian incarnation. And if you guys have been watching my other teaching videos, I would have shared with you guys when my remembrance of the Lemurian crystal caves. The crystal looks very much like this, but it's larger. It's a crystal cave full of these crystal quartz, and it's so, so beautiful. And so that's why I've made a separate video. It's an activated meditation, if you're interested, will guide you astrally travel into the Lemurian crystal caves to receive a stargate alignment. The stargate alignment helps us activate our crystalline light body. I'll link up some of the videos where I've talked about the crystalline light body and also this guided meditation in the description below. And so some of you might be wondering, well, how do I use these crystals? I think that there are so many different ways to use it. Uh, I like to meditate with it, holding it in my hand, placing it on my stomach, on my womb, and just closing my eyes. I can lie down or sit up and to meditate. Sometimes, you know, I would even <laughs> place it on my third eye, really soaking in the vibration. You can also create a crystal grid around yourself if you're lying down. I used to hold on to this on one hand, a celestite on the other hand, and I would make like rose quartz, clear quartz grids around myself on the yoga mat, and then I would lie down into it. It's awesome. You guys should try it out. The second crystal that I wanted to share with you guys is called Auralite 23. So Auralite 23 is uh, a type of amethyst and just looking at it and holding on to it really reminds me a uh, vibration of Moldavite, which we'll also talk about. It connects to a lot of Stargate energy. It has been brought forth through Earth and through the Stargate's energy to help us starseeds remember and to download light codes. It is to help us activate our higher consciousness. So it is amethyst, but this amethyst is specifically attuned to our Stargate energy, the starseed archetype. And so having an or light 23, meditating with it, can help you go into an astral travel, explore your starseed journey. I also picked this one because it reminds me of like a starship. <laughs> a lot of starship actually looks like rocks and they are shaped like cigars or these type of shapes. So I'm like, wow, this looks like a spaceship. I'm going to get this one. And so that's another um, crystal that I like to work with. Even if you don't have one physically, you can still attune to the frequency just through your intention, right? Asking to be connected to the aura light frequency. The third crystal that I really love to work with is called the Modavite. Modavite has a very similar vibration to aura light 23. So this is a more affordable option in terms of this vibration. So Moldavite helps us connect to our cosmic wisdom. It helps us, again, access the Akashic records and to help us regain our starseed consciousness. 
Your our star seed consciousness, our galactic remembrance are all here to help us. Just like how Buddha has talked about enlightenment, Jesus have talked about love. The star seed archetype is about this unity, this cosmic awareness, simply different expression of source energy. And thus, different stones, different archetype vibration activates different aspects of ourselves. The fourth stones that I want to share with you is very powerful. I get zapped all the time. When I hold these crystal, it will go like, whoa. <laughs> so whenever I wake up in the morning, when I need to like reset, I hold these crystals. Uh, these are more like rocks, I guess. It's called shaman stones. And I don't see them very often, but they are always kind of shaped like a round ball. I feel that these balls, not only these balls, <laughs> these crystal <laughs> rocks, not only connects to a very type of mystical shamanic energy, also connects to the elder dragons and very ancient stargate energy. I feel that these rocks have some type of connection to ancient mm, beings. And whenever I hold them, there's this strong pulse of energy that vibrates into my body. My advice is to get two. I just feel that one for the masculine side, one for the feminine side balances our circuitry. And it has been working wonders for me. So that's how I use them. I just hold them and then just let them like zap me <laughs> with good energy. And finally, the fifth crystal is Laurimar. And Laurimar is this beautiful turquoise crystal that looks like the ocean, crystallized. Laurimar is a high vibrational stone that connects us to Atlantis. It connects us to Lyra, Pleiades, and Sirius. These Laurimar stone, I feel that was it has some type of activation. I haven't fully channeled the scope of Larmar yet, but it definitely activates certain light codes through these Stargate alignments, these Stargate portals. And so I feel that Larmar really helps you connect with your Atlantean consciousness. It helps you connect to the Pleiadian, the Lyra, the Syrian consciousness. It brings forth a very healing vibration. So with the other crystal that I shared with you earlier, they're very much about activation, right? They zap you with light. They activate information from you. Larma has like a more calming and more grounding nourishing and harmonizing effect so it's good to wear them when you feel like you need more integration harmonization when you need some uh, grounding right maybe ma merging your masculine and feminine energy together these are very good stone to help us ground into that healer vibration as a star seed so those are my top five crystals to work with when I want to connect with the starseed energy. These crystals in themselves are like training reels. They open you up, they zap you up. And when you have been activated, eventually you might not need them anymore. You can gift them away to your other clients and students or other awakening souls that the crystal can serve in the end right everything is play everything is an experience we return back to zero point we return back to our source self so it's really beautiful i think that it's important for us to appreciate the crystal sometimes i can see how they are harvested i could see and feel the miners that harvested this crystal and I think it's important for us to acknowledge how this crystal was harvested through hard work, sometimes pollution. And although there is a double-edged sword when it comes to everything, really, right? If we need to harvest plant to eat, we eat them and they die. There's always this duality in the universe. But to look at it from a higher perspective, right? That all is happening in this now for us to experience this life, this incarnation, for the creator, for source, to understand ourselves more through our perspectives. 
And thus, I hope that this video has been helpful to you in terms of using crystal in your own activation healing journey while connecting to your star seed energy. If you would like more support in terms of channeling, I do have a self study course. I will link the information below called Channeling Me Divine Messages with Your Spirit Guides, where you learn how to activate your light body access the Akashic records, connect with your starseed self and beyond. If you would like more of our one-on-one -on -one support, I also do offer private sessions as well. You guys can look into the link below to check out my calendar and to see if I am the right person to help you. Thank you so much for joining me in this beautiful vibration today, sending you lots of love and light. Go out there, Work your magic and shine your light. Music